Hi there! Today we're going to graph quadratics in vertex form. I have a graph set up and a table set up, and I'm just going to make up a quadratic for us to graph. So how about y equals, let's see, x minus 5 squared plus 3. So we have this negative 5 and this plus 3. Now inside the parentheses, we have to think opposite. So negative 5 usually would go backwards 5 or left 5 on the x-axis, but in this case it's going to go right 5. So I'm just going to write right 5. Now outside the parentheses, plus 3 is just plus 3, so I'm just going to write up 3, because that's what we had to expect. So our vertex is 5, 3. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of the table. And I'll label it vertex. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. There's our vertex. We know that parabolas are symmetrical. Okay, They're the same on both sides. So let's pick a number that's less than 5 for our x value, and let's pick a number that's bigger than 5 for our x value and see which way that uh, parabola is going to open up. So 4 and 6. Now we just have to plug it in. Plug in, plug in. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Now if we did this correctly, this 6 will come out to be 4 also. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So now we have two more points to plot. 4, 4. And 6, 4. And we can see our parabola starting to shape up. Let's do one more. Now I'm going to choose one number bigger than 6 so that I don't have to deal with negative numbers. So I'm going to choose 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 1 less than 4 and we'd also end up at 7. So let's plot that here. And then we can connect. Now what's really cool about this is that there's a pattern that kind of forms in here. When I go from 3 to 4, I go up 1. When I go from 4 to 7, I go up 3. Let's do one more just so we can see the, the, the pattern really well. So 6, 7, 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 7 to 12 is 5. Now if we look at the second difference of these, no, of these y values, we'll see plus 2, plus 2. What would be our number, our next number, to make another plus 2 here? 7. So we know that we'd go up 7. 12 plus 7 is 19. So at 9, 19, we'd have another point. Now what's cool about that is that we can actually use this pattern to graph right from the beginning. Up 1, up 3 over 1, up 5 over 1, up 7 over 1. So we can use that as a shortcut. That's really only when the a value here is 1, but a pattern will develop if a is a different number, not 1. All right, well, thank you so much for um, being here. If you want a cheat sheet for uh, graphing uh, quadratics in, in vertex form, you could find it in this post. Uh, it's free to download. If you're on YouTube, I'll put a link to the post in the description.